Uh, has anyone here uh, the, have you ever tried Scolobat? Raise your hand. Thank you. So uh, I think it's uh, the most easy to use offline first uh, social uh, network that's uh, available right now. So you can go to uh, scolobat.nz to uh, learn more about it if you want to connect. There's an application for uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux. It's uh, built using Electron. So here I, I'm going to launch it on uh, Linux. And I, I'm not connected to the, the internet. So th the way it works is that when I follow people, I'm going to automatically download all, all their timelines. So for example, here's my profile. And uh, I, I follow uh, this guy. And I can scroll. And uh, I have all of the information locally cached. And then uh, I I if I want to comment or uh, like something, even though I'm not connected, it's like the, the same experience. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to write a random comment, but. Uh, <laughs> write for Paul, he will understand. And then I, I can do a another cool thing I can show off is if, if I connect to the Wi-Fi, and then I can discover peers on the local network. So even if I don't have internet access, for example, I, I, I'm running Scolobot on my phone. And so here you can see local, it, it just found uh, my phone. And so you can see the, the timeline. So I'm going to do a, another test message. OK, I just sent it. And then yeah, it's saw the update here. So it's like uh, very fast. And then uh, yeah. And you're offline right now? Uh, yeah. yeah, I just oh. got online, but just to connect to uh, oh. uh, f f to find Discovery this. Happened. Yeah, on the local network, but th theoretically, I don't need internet access. So yeah, l let's say I'm going to go back offline. And then I, I can post the, uh, yeah. Uh, and it works fine. And it, it's the way it works is that it's an app and only uh, log so I can only uh, add messages and I can only use it from this computer so c c you have to create a different profile if you're on a different computer so th that's a limitation but uh, it might get addressed uh, so that's a little bit and then I can show quickly how much time left you have two minutes thank okay. you so Beaker browser uh, the, the difference is that uh, it's a it's a web browser so we, and I can save website to access them offline so even though now I'm not connected in, to the internet I can open for example this website which which is a blog and I, I basically downloaded all the content so <laughs> it's very convenient and the way I did this I just went here I uh, know I mean here and then I, I, I selected uh, seed all files and so if someone else was on the local network, I could help uh, d them get the files. And it's addressed using a, a public key. So uh, um, the, the author can make changes. And it doesn't have to give me a new address. I can validate that the change is valid. And then you can have some application, like that's an RSS reader that works offline, because it's fetching other dats that I have already cached. And then I can also have a cool, uh, <coughs> like that's a photo application. So we just want something simple, just want to share some picture uh, with your family or your friends. You don't want to go to a central server, you just use this application. And then uh, it's, it's going to generate a, a new that website, so a new key pair. And then you share that link. Uh, and it's uh, com completely private, so only the person who has the the address can participate in the the, the swarm of the peer to peer network. It's uh, end to end encrypted, using the, the the public key as the secret, and so you can add photos, and the link is is not uh, gonna change. And uh, an, an application that's in development right now, I can show it uh, very quickly. It's uh, a bit like Scolobot. But it's like a, a Twitter uh, application, but on Beaker. But that's just one front end. And you can imagine that developer can fork this website and make their own front end. 
and yeah, it's actually really easy, easy to fork a website. I just go here, and then I, I fork it. I give it a, a new name. <laughs> And uh, th then I have my own website w with my own key pair, which I can make changes to. So right now, it's only the author who can make changes, like uh, on a single computer. But there's some improvements that are coming up so that you can add other uh, public keys so you can have multiple authors on the same site. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh.